Um, we are calling the church to stand up for the unborn and the orphans in this nation. And if the church would do that, it would be illegal in this country and there wouldn't be no orphans in foster care waiting to get adopted. So we're trying to call the church to repent and they need to stand up and do something, not just have a good moral opinion that it's wrong. Because we believe that this church really truly believes that this is wrong. Mm -hmm. But what do we do about it? Right, do we just okay. sit and talk about it? Do we vote about so it? Do what we, do we do about it? Well, what would God call you to do? I know what God called me to do was, was oh. to talk to other Christians and talk. and talk to you to say, what is God calling you? Because God called us to adopt six, okay? God called us to stand out in front of abortion clinics and try to stop women. Mm -hmm. The sadness in my heart and our heart is that when we stand in abortion clinics, there are no Christians there. When we go out in front of Planned Parenthood, there are no Christians there saying stop. When we go to the legislative priorities, which we were just there in San Antonio, very few Christians are there saying this is a priority for the state of Texas. And so it just pains us and we're saying, Christians, come on, you're the good people here. You know, you know the word of God. So your objective is? To make it illegal in the state of Texas, right? to get all the orphans that are in foster care adopted, that are ready to be adopted. Not all of them, of course, can, but there are 13,000 that are ready, and they're not babies, they're older. And if just the big mega churches here in the state of Texas would stand up, it would be done. And a lot of churches have the moral opinion, right, that it's wrong. And you guys do stand up and say you're pro-life. But what does that mean, pro-life? How do we get that in action? We're calling our brothers and sisters to act. Okay. So that's what we're here for. And I appreciate you coming to ask. I agree. The only thing I can say is, mm -hmm. is someone driving in here, mm -hmm. I have no idea what you're doing. And that's so why your message is kind of not effective. Well, what it does is makes people think, like, why are they here? Like, this is a pro-life I mean, church. Over like, here, most people probably won't. Most people won't, yes. But you know what? Their conscience will tell them. They're going to go in and, and it will continue to think about, okay, this, this church here hates this, right? Hates it, supposedly. So why are those people out there? Well, I'm hoping they have a good relationship with God where God can tell them, like, what are you doing to stop this Holocaust? Yeah, I mean, I understand what you're you're saying it's not that I disagree, mm -hmm. but the process you're using, I'm just telling you, it's not very effective. Well, because I drive by and I'm going, well, there's crazy people. I mean, uh, well, why are yeah, we crazy I though? I know what you're saying, and you're here, and mm -hmm. so you know, it's like trying to deliver a message to a population that 99.9% .9 of the people agree with you. It, it, when I drive by, I'm like, why don't they? try to deliver this message to people maybe that don't agree with them. Because those people, people need to know. Well, those people are already checked out. That'd be great, right? If we could, And we've tried that before. But they're like checked out, like I'm pro-choice, I'm gonna kill my baby if I want. These people here believe it's wrong, but just have a good moral opinion by sitting in the pews or voting for it. Like I said, there's nobody at abortion clinics. There's nobody at the legislative priorities saying this is important. There's nobody sitting out in front of high school saying, kids, this is not an option, right? So what are we doing? Are we paying somebody to do that for us? Like a pro-life organization? Or us as Christians actually doing something? Like this is wrong, that's why we're here. Like wake up, Christians, right? This Holocaust is happening in our midst of thousands of Christians in this nation. That's ridiculous. Reminds us of an Amos, right? When when child sacrifice was going on. And God is like, people, what are you doing? And so that's what's happening. It's the same with the, the Holocaust, the Jewish Holocaust, right? The Christians sing a little louder, Christians, as the trains are going by. So we're saying, sing a little louder, Christians, look what's going on. No, I understand. So I, I hope that you actually do this in places where they have we do. Abortions. We do. We do abortion clinics, we do it in high schools. We do it in front of Planned Parenthood. We do it like everywhere. We go to conventions. We call churches. We go to Christian musical festivals to say, hey guys, we know you're enjoying this great music, but 
Let's I mean, also it's like, okay. Your signs have impact. Yes. But they're graphic enough that I think people probably just look away. I don't know that you're for people that believe the same way as you do. They'll look at that and go, "How horrible that is." Mm -hmm. For people that don't, they probably just look away and don't absorb it. I understand, and you're and you're probably exactly right. But our hope and our prayer is is God will convict even a handful of people to stand up. And if those hand people stand up, then the next handful, the next handful, right? So. Thank you for your time. Thank you. My name is Stephanie, by the way. Curtis. Curtis. Nice. Thank you, nice. Thanks you for coming. Thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. Have a good day. You too. Bye bye. That was very nice. I sit down for a minute. In about like five minutes, we'll have a break. Okay, so stand up. Five minutes. Let's do it.